It's our story. Pat Puckett, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, uh, the thing that I think that is true, and, and we, you'll never hear a bureaucrat admit it, but as long as our government fund, funds places that people would rather die than go, it's a great cost containment measure. Because if you will do anything you possibly can to stay on the outside, that saves the long-term care system money. And so, you know, we've had in the last uh, 15 years, I guess, a lot of going through the motions, a lot of feasibility studies and pilot projects and research and all of that to demonstrate that community-based living is less costly than nursing homes. And on a per-person basis, it may very well be. But in my state, we have probably 50,000 people who don't get either one. They don't get nursing homes and they don't get community support either. And they could use it. They need it. And so if people, if, if we move away from the institutional way of doing business and we start providing services to people that help them stay at home, a whole lot more people are going to say, I want that. And so I think that, um, that we have to confront that as a community. We have to say as a community that the tab for long-term care is going to go up. There's no way it's not going to go up with the graying of society, the aging of America. The long-term care tab is going to go up. So part of how I differ with a lot of my colleagues in independent living is I do not speak of community-based services as cheaper. I do not speak of things as less costly. I speak of them as more cost effective because generally people are happier and healthier when they're in their own place. But there are so many people who get neither one that really need supports and services that we can't say that our tab for long-term care is going to go down because it isn't, I don't think. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.